Hello everyone. Welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents. Me, Deborah, with the vloggy thing on Saturday or whatever day you happen to be watching it. Uh, this is a vloggy thing number 25. So yay, just about half the year I've been doing this stuff. Wow. Time sure flies. <laughs> I have a very important shout out coming a little bit later on in the podcast, so please stay tuned for that. It's gonna jump into the yarny stuff today because, yeah, there's yarny stuff. I do have a couple of whips. One is an almost finished whip. It's made with a bunch of different colors of this that I got on clearance several weeks ago. This is 100% Lux Cotton Yarn. Got it at Walmart on clearance. It is a Mainstays product, so it's a Walmart product. Got it for $2 a ball. Um, it says it's a 6 bulky, but then it says to use a 6.5 millimeter hook. Um, I did not use that because I found that almost unworkable. I've been using a 9 to do this. So... I have been attempting to make a cat bed. And yes, it's many colors because I didn't have enough of any one color. This is the bottom. Yes, big circle for a big kitty. Okay. And it's going to have a little bit of a cover. Now, right now, it's super floppy, super duper floppy sloppy. But it's got a little ridge at the bottom. See? To help define where the bottom ends. Not that it's going to matter much. It's from a boy. Okay. A um, little bit of a cover on the top, but I've got to make it not do that. And yeah, in my acquisitions today, I've had an idea. Oh no, Deborah had an idea. Terribly scary. But uh, yeah, I'll talk about that in a bit. I do have another whip. Oh, by the way, no pattern. Beginner crochet brain. You know the drill. Okay, another whip that may end up being a frogged item and redone into another one of these because I love my Cinnamon Stitches uh, Summer Breeze tank. And if you haven't seen it already, check it out. I made it so it's easy to make, okay? I won this beautiful dotted line yarn, okay? Um, months ago, and I've been wondering what I'm gonna do with it. It is a number two, so it is fine. It is a little bitty. But I wanted to make a wearable out of it because it's so fine. So I have started a tank top from the bottom. And like I said, I might frog it. This was just an idea. I was right, we were riding in the car and I was crocheting. So I would just start up with a single crochet on the bottom. And then I've been doing sort of V stitches going up. It may stay like this. It may not. That's whip number two. Whip number three is the hubby blanket, but despite last week's big progress, there hasn't been a stitch of progress on it this week, except check out my uh, tutorial. I did a tutorial. Um, <laughs> it was released. Uh, it'll be just into my playlist, into my videos. And um, it does show the hubby blanket and the stitch that I've been using on that. So there is that. Finished objects, not a single thing. I had so many in the last couple of weeks and this week it ain't been diddly. I know, right? Uh, part of that is because I had one day that I didn't crochet at all. I did not pick up a hook. Um, I was having a bad day. Depression was kicking my butt and I just sat there like a lump and literally did nothing after work, of course. And of course, it, work triggered it because it always does. I told you a couple weeks ago that I was applying for yet another analyst position. And yet again, I got beat out by somebody else. Yay. <laughs> so I'm still an hourly worker. I keep trying, though, I guess. Sometimes I don't know why I bother. But anyway. Okay, so no foes. That's the whips. I do have a bit of a mystery. In my description box below, also you should always check the description box of not only my videos, but any of the videos you watch. Sometimes there's little hints and fun things in there, okay? I mentioned a mystery. Now this bag isn't a mystery. I got this along with um, some yarn that I won from Stephanie's Yarn Escape. That's in last week's video. But in here, I have got an overstuffed, overflowing bag of yarn bands. 
these are all of the yarn bands minus a few that I have sent along with finished objects to show what the yarn was to other people. That's a lot. I haven't counted them. How many do you think are in here? Maybe that'll be a, a thing. Like I said, I have not counted them. Those last few I just put in there, those were from the cat bed experiment thing. Um, but there are some smushed in there. Look at that sideways. You can see there's a ton of them in there. Not a ton, literally. A quantitative ton. Okay. Um, take a guess. How many you think are in there? If somebody gets it right, maybe I'll send them a prize. Just a little something something. Okay, not going to be anything big, but that's just some fun to think about because I've got a lot of them and I will count them at some point. All right, I've got a list so that I don't forget things because Deborah is forgetful. Oh, how could I forget this? Have you met up with Jane from Be Yourself with Jane? I first met up with Jane on one of Lisa Ladybird Loves Lives months ago. She is a hoot. She's a lot of fun. She's the first person I saw playing charades with Lisa. And you have, you are generally, you're lucky if you get to encounter her and enjoy her presence. She only has one video up on her channel right now. Come on, Jane, put some content up there so we can all enjoy you. Okay. The reason I'm mentioning Jane, there was a fundraiser. Uh, we lost one of our own recently, uh, Miss Noodley Bits, who I ran into at Lisa Ladybird Love's channel. She recently passed, and there was a fundraiser to help raise money for final expenses as she didn't have insurance and to help with her family and stuff. And something that Jane did, Jane offered up her own services and her own products, basically, stuff that she makes to sell, she offered up as part of the fundraiser. So I purchased this necklace. I want you to look at that. Now, just in case you can't tell because my camera's kind of poopy, that's crocheted with these beautiful beads. And there's a charm on here that says made with love, and I believe it coming from Miss Jane. I actually wore this yesterday. I got it in the mail yesterday. And as soon as the hubby brought me the mail, I opened it up and I immediately put this on and I wore something to match it because I wanted to keep wearing it. You can also do the wrap around the wrist thing, okay? But also I've worn a set of bracelets. Now these, look at this. There's two of these. Boy, my camera does not do justice. Okay, these are gorgeous, purpley and tealy and all kinds of colors that match and go beautifully together beads. They are totally my colors. And then this one, look, with the little butterfly charm that I'm showing backwards because I'm a doof. There we go. Look at this. It's so sparkly and so pretty and I was so happy to have it because her items were disappearing, okay? So if you get a chance, you can probably look at her information. I've got her channel link below. I believe she has her all of her information in her about section uh, where you can learn where you can get items like these directly from her without it even having to be a fundraiser. I am so glad that I discovered this and I'm taking this off because I'm afraid I'm going to fling it around and bust it. But I'm going to set this right back here. So generous, such beautiful work. Thank you, Jane. You are awesome, okay? And this reminded me when I turned back around, um, put the hair up today because it needs to be washed and I wasn't doing it this morning. Notice, there is a hair tie in there. Notice it is the same yarn as this is. I made some hair, I did a thing. I made hair ties a couple of weeks ago. I forgot to show them. I made these sort of light and lacy instead of the big floofy ruffly ones. Oh, and I have another silver one that I made too. Just because this is something I can do while I watch TV. 
it's it's a relaxing you don't have to stress too much about it kind of a thing now acquisitions almost forgot I went shopping I wasn't gonna go shopping but I had an idea for the cat bed from earlier drop this <sighs> pool noodle this one's called a mega noodle and it says three dollars I did not pay three dollars they were on sale because it's a summer item and well the stores think that summer's over um no this big wonkin thing is not going to be in there holding it up the cat we, we, there would be room for the cat okay but these stay stiff enough when you cut them into sections i'm going to use it to kind of brace the top and maybe go around the outside don't know yet i've got a pool noodle though have pool noodle have knives and scissors we'll travel so we're going to see what happens with it Worst comes to worst, I have more boots that I can stick these down into because yes, I do that with pool noodles as well. Let me toss this out of the way before I lose it again. Now, more acquisitions. There's a bag, Dollar Tree. Part of it's Dollar Tree and part of it's Dollar General. First, I will show you my Dollar General stuff because that's a thing. I do like to color. It's another relaxing thing. It's called Around the World. And since right now I do have a Snacks Around the World series starting um, as part of my Tuesday reviews, you may want to check that out. Snacks that you may not have heard of. Those are coming up too. But these are some neat coloring pages. Um, it tells you where it is and just gives you a little scene to color in. You know, Brussels. There's some Helsinki. So yeah, a lot of places I'd love to go. But uh, probably not going to happen. Look, the Taj Mahal. But yeah, a whole bunch of pages in here. And each one, there's nothing on the back. So you can pull it out and not worry about it bleeding through to another picture. Um, oh, wow. There's even one of the Louvre Museum. Which, that should be an interesting color. I'm not going to go standard with that one. I can tell you that. So there's that. Also, I know that there's another item in here. I'm looking for it. Blast it hiding in the bag. I have spoken about my Crayola problem before. Okay. I've got the big 128 pack. I have got a bunch of little packs. And I saw this at Dollar Tree. Pearl crayons. Now I hadn't seen these before. And yep, they still smell like Crayolas. And yes, Crayolas do have a very specific scent. Anybody who likes crayons We'll tell you that. Ain't no rose art here, okay? These are just some colors that are not part of the set. A lot of the ones that you get in the late packs are part of the regular big sets. So you're not getting anything different. It's just, you know, in a little collection. These, I believe, are different, or at least are mostly different. So I'm kind of excited to try these out on, on some little little things that I, that I do. Haven't shown any coloring um, that I have done. Oh, I do have one in here, though. Some are done with markers, and this is partial markers, partial crayons of all different sorts. And no, I did not draw it. Laundry today or naked tomorrow. It will go up in my office near my work computer somewhere. Because, of course it will. But, yeah, it's just something I enjoy doing. This was a very light coloring, playing with a little color. Some of it has sparkles in it, which I know you can't see on the camera. But yeah. Oh, and what's this bag I'm holding? <laughs> yes, the rest of my acquisitions. It's all one thing, but it's nine of one thing. It is every bit of one thing that my Dollar Tree had. All of them. Of course it is. Just Yarn Tweed. This is in the color Charcoal Tweed. And if you're not familiar, this is a Premier Yarn. Uh, buck a piece at Dollar Tree. It says for crafters, makers, knitters, and crocheters. 120 yards, 110 meters. It's 55 grams. It's 100% acrylic. It's a medium four weight, machine wash warm, tumble dry, low heat. And uh, it says it takes a five and a half millimeter hook. It is tweedy. It is nice. I don't know. It's got little, little bits of the gray tweed in there with the charcoal. 
I really, really like it. I have a lighter gray one that I got at a different Dollar Tree at a different time. I'm think I'm looking at it over there. I'm thinking they'll go, go nicely together. But yeah, nine of them. I, saw, I walked over to where I knew they had it in my little store and there was a box tucked underneath. I pulled that box out, plopped it up on my cart, pulled out all the yarn and said, mine, 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 mine. Yeah, I kind of did that in the store. I can be embarrassing to go out with sometimes. <laughs> Imagine that. Okay, acquisitions done. Back to the list. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, my very special shout out. Hashtag out of this world alien beanie. Let me tell you, I don't knit. Okay, knitting is magic. It really is. But I know several people now who can perform this particular magic with two sticks. One of them is Connie from Just Another Stitch. And she comes up with the coolest ideas and patterns. And she has just released her Out of This World Alien Beanie pattern. It is knit. Kind of jealous of that. Uh, but she's released it on her Ravelry shop. She's doing a giveaway for it right now. And if you have not seen this beanie, oh my gosh, you have got to see it. It is the cutest. It's got little alien faces on it. And yeah, let me see if she could make me one just so I can buy it from her because I'm kind of digging it, okay? But I'm going to have the link to her uh, giveaway below and her main channel because you have got to check her out. If you are not already subscribed to Miss Connie, you should be, for one thing. Just saying. She is a lot of fun. She's very talented. And she writes patterns. And she's having a giveaway. Go there. Link below. And uh, yeah, hashtag, I have to make sure I get the words right. Hashtag, out of this world alien beanie. In my goofy handwriting that I know you can't read because I can barely read it. And I'm the one that did it, okay? But yeah, I am so looking forward to to looking at that beanie again. I watched the video this morning. I had seen her make it before when she first came up with it and she said she was gonna write a pattern for it. And I was like, oh my God, her testers did a great job. Whoa, seriously, check it out. Cutest beanie ever. As per usual, I do have a non-yarny shout out today. And this is something that it's not so off the wall. This is definitely yarn and craft adjacent. Um, the Crafty Organizer. She shows you how to organize, how to organize in a beautiful way, of course, uh, which we can all need because, I mean, there's this yarn, there's that yarn, there's that yarn over there, there's some more over there. Trust me, I need it too. She's got a very vibrant, uh, not only channel, but also an active YouTube group with people who are very helpful. Some people come in and asking for help and some people, you know, giving the help and going back and forth. And she's very involved with her community. Do check it out. Link down below for the Crafty Organizer. And then before I uh, hit the stop button on this whole kit and caboodle here, just want to remind you that I have got some playlist information down below. Also in the description box down below, all of the people that I've talked about today. Links down there. You don't have to miss out at all. And if you'd like to buy me another ball of yarn or a coffee, you know, you can uh, hit my Kofi link and check that out as well. Thank you for coming by. I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button on your way out and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, tell a friend, okay? Tell a friend that this crazy girl Deborah talks about stuff once a week and does tutorials now. Tutorials. Yeah, I don't know what that was all about. Anyway, I will see you soon. Very soon, I hope. Take care.